Hello, welcome to Retail Outsource. My name is Seb and today I'm going to show you how to create a fulfillment order. So imagine a scenario that um, you have all the stock um, in Amazon FBA and um, uh, you got an order from website and you don't have any stock in your warehouse. So all the stocks are uh, with uh, Amazon FBA. So you can create an FBA, uh, FBA fulfillment order uh, for your website order. So there are two ways to do that. The first is um, you can create a manual order. So for example, if you get one or two orders, you can create it manual. Or if you have uh, multiple orders, then you can uh, use the function to do the bulk upload flat file. So I'm just going to show you both the methods today. Once you have um, uh, logged into your account, you have to go to inventory and then click on FBA inventory. And from here, you can select the items uh, that you want to uh, send. So you can select multiple items and uh, multiple quantities as well. Uh, in this example, I'm just gonna select the first item and make sure that uh, the item that you are selecting is available. And sometimes it will be uh, on reserve, this might be, uh, you know, because of different uh, cases like uh, Amazon is shifting stock to different warehouse around the country, or there is some issues with the item. So that, that there might be different reasons for that. Um, so that's something you have to look into. But uh, as long as it's, uh, the item is available, um, then you can select that item. And then from the drop down, you have to create fulfillment order, click on that. And that will bring us to this um, uh, page. This is a manual entry. So we have an option to click bulk order. So we'll, let's do the manual uh, first. So there are three steps, quite easy and straightforward method. So the first box, enter customer details, add SKUs, and select the shipping speed. So for this one, um, the countries, mainly Amazon will only allow you to do the, the local shipping. If you're from US, it will be only allowed to ship within the US. So, so on, so on. So in this case, it's UK. So we can only send uh, within UK with this method. So enter the name, the address. And if you want an additional line, you can just expand this option, uh, this box and add the extra details here. And city, um, state and zip code. And the, the phone number and the email is optional, so you don't have to enter it. And from here, add items. Uh, I have added one items, we have selected one. So you can change the quantities from here, increase, and it will show you how many items are there to fulfill. So in this case, we will have one. So if we have more than like uh, 50 or 60, everything will be shown here, what's available. And you can add a new ASIN as well, a new item. Uh, and then the same method is search, uh, click on the paste the ASIN, search for it, and then select it. And then it will uh, shown over here. And you can adjust the quantity as well. So uh, if you have a website order reference that you can put it over here as a order ID. And if you, if you leave it blank, then Amazon will um, uh, create an order ID for you and any comments, but don't put any website links or anything like that over here. And you have an op optional uh, details as well to select the, the shipping dates and um, packing slip order ID. That's something uh, optional if you want to do that. So once you have completed step one and two, the system will calculate the price, how much it's gonna cost you for the standard and um, how much it's gonna cost you for expedited uh, delivery. And it will show you the arrive by date as well in both uh, uh, cases, the, the price, how much it's gonna cost and the, the estimated delivery dates. And it will be, the details will be shown here as well. So once you're happy with that, you can just click uh, place order. So that's how you do uh, manual. And um, if you want to create a bulk order, you have to download the file uh, from your website and um, 
we just have want to shuffle the columns and everything because Amazon have a template and we want to uh, enter uh, the details on, on those fields. So this is how the file looks like. It's quite straightforward, very simple uh, to use. So just fill in the details, you know, the, uh, the delivery type, the standard or expedited, whatever it's um, uh, that you want. Just enter the details, the buyer name, address, you know, all those stuff. Um, and then the only tricky part that you want to uh, do is the market ID. So you need to know uh, the market ID. So for that, um, I have a video. Um, I have created a video for that, how to find this uh, marketplace ID. So I'll put a link down in the description if you don't know how to find it. And once you have that, just uh, paste it here. So it will be the same for all the orders. I hope uh, this video is helpful. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Too. And remember, if you sell on eBay or Amazon and have a few questions, then you can also book a free 30-minute consultation from the link in the description below.